John Paul II, the friend of all humanity. There have been many films made about Pope John Paul II, but none of them quite like this one. It's an hour-long animated feature that traces the life of the man-born Carol Votiwa, and it's told through the eyes of two doves. Here's Piccolo and Fiona, John Paul II's bosom pigeon. The Holy Father died in peace last night at 9.37 p.m. in his private apartment. Do you remember, Piccolo, when we first met Carol? Twenty-eight years ago this week, Cardinal Carol Votiwa became the first non-Italian Pope for over 450 years. This story follows the life of the young boy who would become Pope, and say the Vatican it helps people to understand what motivated him. It's a grown-up theme, but the Spanish producer who made it says there's plenty to appeal to young children. They're going to see him as a young boy, he says, as a footballer, a keen guitarist, a young man who always wanted to be an actor. Then his brother and his father die, and suddenly the focus shifts to the church. The animators were sent back several times by the Vatican to make changes, but those who've seen it say it's a fitting tribute to the late Pope. After all, this was a man who loved children and popular culture. He once invited Tom Jones and Brian Adams to his annual Christmas concert. The current Pope has not yet seen the cartoon, but the Vatican has given its blessing and it's now been translated into seven languages. The view here is that with young people increasingly turning away from the Catholic faith, anything which sends out the Church's message has to be a worthwhile experiment. Christian Fraser, BBC News, the Vatican.